Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSP Solution. In this session, we are going to see how we can define medical benefits option in Oracle Fusion HCM. So let's just start today's session. Uh, we have seen in the diagram thus far uh, that option are the lowest level of the hierarchy. And you can also see here and we also see in a previous session and these are electable choices within a plan. So coverage for employee only and for employee plus one. Here you can see that the plan type and the options. So we have got the ability to associate an option with one or more plan and plan type also. So in this session, we are going to see how we can create the uh, options and how we can associate option with the plan type. Right. And, uh, but we said, uh, we, I also explain you, uh, you have to have your own plan type configured first so that you, we could make these option available to those plan type, right? That's, that's why we first created the plan types. Now we are going to create the options and also associate those plan type with the options. Okay. So let's move on to the application and see what are the how we can perform the task, how we can perform the benefit option task. So this, these are the benefit, medical benefit option we are going to create in this session. So we create employee only, employee plus one and employee plus family. Okay, so let's just move on to the application and perform this task. Here on the home page and go to the benefit administration option. I log in as a implementation user and now go to the plan configuration option. Here, go to the task pane. And here, under the benefit plans and program option, you can see here the benefit options, right? Here, you can change the effective as of date. First, we are going to see the existing one. Okay, these are the existing one option. So let's open. Existing any existing option type here. Let's open the family one. Okay, now you can click on the action and correct option. So these fields are editable. Okay, so you will have to give a name here for this. Here you can give the short name and name here. You have to see this wave option checkbox. So you will typically define a wave plan or option to provide a clear choices, right? So you enroll worker automatically into a basic medical insurance plan unless the worker explicitly opts for out of all the medical insurance. So you can easily, uh, you can quickly address any medical coverages issue arising later because it's clear that the worker explicitly waived enrollment with knowledge of the available alter alternatives, right? So if you want, you can check this box on here. And here you can also see the plan type. So we created the plan type. Here we can associate uh, those plan type with our options right so let's just back and click on the create option to create new one here we have to give the name right and if you want to change the effective start date you can change uh, session effective start date first then you can fill other details otherwise uh, you may lost your whole data so first you set the effective start date let's fill the name which is a b03 
employee only here you can give the short name and short code for the employee and here just go to the plan type for option and click on the select and add to add a plan type with this option i select the medical here just click on the okay here you also see the required period of uh, enrollment Right, so we have got this required period of enrollment here. So if a selection of this option require that the person stay enrolled for a period of time, maybe your summary plan description dictate that if they pick this, uh, they have to stay in it for a year. Right, so you could enter those details here to enforce that rule also. Here you can see, you can define all the rules and the numbers of unit period here. So uh, you can define required period of time for enrollment here. And we define the plan type here. Next, we have the allowable, allowable dependent or beneficiary de designees. So some of the benefit plans that the organization offer can include coverage for employees dependents. For example, the medical and dental plans might have option for a spouse and family coverage, right? So other benefit plans such as a life insurance and retirement plans required a beneficiary who is entitlement to receive benefit from the plan in the event of the employee's death. So before you can enroll an employee's dependent in a benefit plan or enter a person as a beneficiary for a plan, you must create a record for those dependent and the beneficiary. Right. So here I uh, because we are creating for the employee only. So I'm not adding any beneficiary designees here. I just click on the save and close option. OK, now we are going to create next one. Here, give the name. Okay, here we also, we can also give the short name. And here we can add the plan type. I have again select the medical for this also. Now what we can do, we click on the create for the allowable dependent or beneficiary designees here. Here you can see the sum of that benefits plan that the organization offer can include coverage for um, em employees dependent for the example. So here you can select the group relationship like you can uh, you can see here the children, the domestic partner, the family, no designees, no non-personal spouse, spouse or domestic partner, third party. Here you can see the designation type. There is a two type beneficiary and dependent and then here um, is there a minimum number that has to be selected in order to have these elections is there a maximum uh, number and can uh, every relationship type listed there eligible be covered like if we define in relationship type here uh, and more than one so every relationship type is eligible for that or not Right, because here we define the group relationship as a spouse. And it is a dependent. And under the relationship type here, 
because its list is so long so i just select yes and print and click on the enter option sorry down arrow so i find i can found right one as soon as possible right so this is how we can uh, define the de uh, designees here for the options right so here i i just explain i have just explain you so if um, organization offer an include coverage for employees dependents for example a medical and dental plans might have option for a spouse and family coverage right so this is a for a spouse that's why we select here designation as a dependent right and uh, other benefit plans such as a life insurance and retirement required a beneficiary right so when we create the uh, insurance and retirement plans we select here the beneficiary option right so i just click on the okay here i created for employee and plus one so it's for employee and one more member so this i just add only one group relationship here and then just click on the save and close option okay now just create one more this time we are going to create for the family also here i select the employee just give the name employee family employee plus family right and here we can give the short name which is a m m p f and here we can give the short code right and here what we are going to do we are going to add the plan type for this option select the medical one more time and here i'm going to uh, click on the create option okay so what we are going to do here we are going uh, we are going to select here the spouse first and select the dependents and going to create the add right again type s and click on the drop down arrow okay and click again one more time because it's a family option so i just select here the children and select as a dependent and just click on the add option so here select the adopted child now click on the add again here select the child now click on the one more time here we select the step child okay now we are going to click on the okay so this one for the employee so that's why we create two group relationship for this benefit options now what we are going to do we are going to do just click on the save and close option let's search for our options benefits option we just created okay so you can see here the employee only the employee plus one and the employees okay just add one we can also add the short code and short name for this also Right, just click on the save and close again so okay so it's now good so this is the three option benefit option we are created 
so i hope it's clear to you how we can create benefit options and how we can associate plan type with benefits option right so this is how whole process works so in next session we are going to perform the uh, life insurance benefit option so thank you so much for watching the video